I will make you into a great nation, and Ali will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing to others. Dear children of God, when we read this verse, God reminds us of three promises that are found in a single verse. The Lord is going to bless you. He is going to raise up your name and he is going to use you to bless others. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. When it says Zion it means that his blessings will be the greatest blessings in your life today because it is from Zion. Whenever there is a lack in your life the Lord is going to perfect it. Whatever you have been waiting on the Lord for is going to come to pass today and you are going to help others through it. It is written that his cup overflows, and even so in the same way you too are going to overflow with blessings in your life. Yes. In whatever situation you are in, whether it is a financial problem, that you wonder how you are going to overcome or it might be concern about how you will be able to improve your business, that is a failure, the Lord is going to change it today. Even your relationships are going to become perfect today. Your every concern regarding your children and your family members is about to be rooted out. They are going to receive so many blessings. Be ready to receive these perfect blessings today. Because it is God who is saying to you right now. I have started my work with you, and yes, I will wrap them up. I am dealing with things from the roots and rebuilding the foundation of your life once again. I have put that dream in your heart for a reason. Be ready to make it true very soon. God is always listening to you. He is going with you whenever you are going. Know that our God is gracious, even though he is a great God. The supreme being in this universe, yet he is so merciful and humble that he is always willing to listen to you. It is because his heart is full of compassion towards you. He is willing to listen to anyone who comes in search of him and to anyone who wants to share their heart to him. Therefore, share your heart, your body your mind and soul to him. When you share the very secrets of your heart, when you start talking with God in your daily lifestyle that's where God will listen to you and you will be able listen to him as well. To whomever God shows compassion, he will answer the minute they ask. Type I will never stop talking to you, God.